Hey guys and welcome to another quick tutorial for you rooted Samsung users. As I'm sure you've noticed, once you trip Nox on your phone, even if you later unroot by flashing stock firmware, some apps still won't function properly. Here I've got a rooted J3 2017 and when I try to start S Health, I get this message. To get around this using the following procedure, your phone has to be rooted, you can unroot it later. Next, you need a root file manager. I'm gonna use ES File Explorer, which I've simply downloaded from Play Store and installed on my phone. In ES Explorer, first you need to enable Root Explorer. Next, you browse to Local Device System. Here we need to edit this build.prop file. I'll open it with ES Note Editor. Select Edit. And we need to find the following line of code. ro.config.tima equals 1. Next, change the 1 to a 0 and save the change. All that is left to do is to reboot the phone for the change to make effect. For now, nothing is different as you can see, so let's reboot. And here you go, no more warning message and the app will function as it should. What I want to show you next is that you, if you wish to unroot, you can now do so and S Health will continue working as it should. So go into your Super SU or Magisk Manager app, depending on what you've got on your phone, and select Complete Uninstall. I've got Magisk here, so that's what I have to uninstall. Now we need to reboot the phone and see what's what. Here we go, no root access anymore. And S Health is still working well. And that was it for today. Hope you liked this video. Stay subscribed for more stuff like this. And until the next video, goodbye.